Self-tapping so that it can just grab without having threads as it goes in and then they drill this through my bone and that's been in there for four years. Hello and good morning everyone. How is everyone doing? Our day's starting off pretty good today. My alarm went off for a solid hour and 15 minutes before I actually got out of bed. Surprisingly, it did not wake up Brandon. I don't know what's wrong. Normally I pop out of bed. Not today. Kids slept in really great. They had a late night last night. I feel like every night this summer they have had a late night. You know what? We're just gonna let them do it because it's summer and they can. Starting off today really great. Kids just barely finished doing their chores. I'm so grateful for that. We're just gonna hang out today. Brandon has his big appointment today to get his stitches out. See how the surgery went getting his his screws taken out of his leg. If you haven't seen the video or have no idea what I'm talking about, Brandon broke his leg four years ago. Ready? Are you okay? Yeah, I broke my leg. Had massive surgery. <laughs> what if I do that? And then just two weeks ago, decided to have surgery to have some of the screws removed because. Ooh, I'm hungry and I love cookies. <laughs> that ended up being a little bit painful. Anyways, he is gonna round out with the doctor today and see the update there, and we're really excited. It's another hot summer day here in Utah. Hazy, what are you doing today? Playing with Play Doh. Playing with Play Doh, that's right. Yeah. We did Hazy's hair really cute today. We did like little topsy tail. I don't know if that's what you call this. I think it's topsy tail. And then we just split it into piggy tails. Her hair's getting so long. So pretty, Hazy. This stud is helping me out big time right now taking stuff out to recycling such a good helper dude lately Ryler just is like hey is there anything I can do to help you and I'm like what's wrong with you yes you can help me actually thank you for offering crew has actually been really great at that too actually all the kids have been really great at that I've been really grateful busting out chores day I have so much I need to get done I have laundry that needs to be done so many things on the docket that I've got to do guys I'm feeling zero motivation today so currently sitting at my computer we are working on some new merch I know I've told you we are waiting for sunglasses and hats to come but we are working on a few more things that are actually very very exciting I cannot wait for you to hear about them I can't wait for you to see them I don't know just some really exciting things going on I can't wait I am getting ready to go off to the orthopedics surgeon right now. I'm going to get my follow-up appointment in. I'm getting my stitches removed today. Now, that is a plan. I just had this thought, actually. I was in the shower. I was like, what if he looks at him? He's like, they're not ready to come out. That would be terrible. Be <laughs> Headed there right now. Going to get these bad boys taken out. Hopefully, got a few things on the agenda that I want to do once I get these out. Oh. Can anybody guess what the number one thing is? One will. I'm gonna say here's a hint. Everybody just use the word you. in the. Yeah, one wheel. That's what it was. So. Gross. Don't. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Show them. I, but look, it looks much better. That's what I'm trying to show. Is that it looks much better. So I, initially, it was just like this big high pinch that they just ran oh. thread through, and it was like kind of gnarly. You know, obviously some swelling and some black and purple. Now you can see there's still some nice bruising through here. But all in all, I think it's looking good. I think they're just gonna snip these, pull them out, remove the stitches. Now if we could do something about this incredible skin rash I got from the shave job. If you guys remember, I got shaved from like here down. You got some little. I got like a, I got like a ton, and it itches. It's like a fiery itch that I. Just cannot scratch enough. It just it just constantly. I can't I stand it. But it looks painful. that's not being taken care of today. That is going to remain for the foreseeable future. But getting these stitches out, one thing I want to do, Mindy kind of spoiled it. Cannot wait to get back on the one wheel. Told the kids today, going around the block with them, gonna yeah. get back out there, do a few more active fun things I haven't been able to do. And then number two, get in any body of water. I did I shower know. today without a plastic baggie on my leg. That felt Ooh. like a big step in the right direction. But just you know, pool, hot tub, lake, I, I don't know, something. Just anything that's fun and active. Anything that I haven't been able to do. Now I haven't been like super laid up, you guys. I've had a phenomenal recovery. It's been a quick, easy bounce back. Yeah. For sure, especially considering they went in there, took some pins right out of my bone, and then mm -hmm. sewed me back up. I mean, it went really, really well. But it does kind of suck feeling like inhibited, like having this list of things that you can't I do. Know. So I'm excited to have these out and then officially just be back on the do what you want list. So. I know. I mean, I've got a whole list of things that need to be done. Well, I'm going to talk to him about that because I do remember him saying certain things like some of the chemicals in dishwashers, for example, stay away from dishes. Oh, um, there have been a lot of leg ankle related vacuuming incidents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then another one was just kind of like the uneven weight of laundry they said that that one is kind of oh, dangerous yeah. went on the men so just to, I'll, I'll find out and I'll, I'll fill you in on what he said but yeah good because I mean if not you can't I mean, come so you have no idea what he's gonna say I can only go by myself only one person face mask the whole bit headed there now I'll take you guys along with me for what I can then I'll see you when I get home sounds good I am here at just about 10 minutes early, gonna get masked up and head in there, get all signed and checked in. I'm sure they might do some x-rays today. Definitely getting the stitches out is the plan and just a follow up to see the success of the surgery. But I had to mention as I drove into town here and I'm seeing all the BYU signs, go Cougars. This is where Maddie is going to be living, you guys, right here. This is right near campus in just a few weeks. I mean, it's more like a month and then some, but mid August is her check-in date to come check into her dorm here in Provo, Utah. Insane to think that after all this time, she will be this close to home. She already told me she is 
super stoked about having a second closet nearby because she's not sure there's a lot of closet space in her dorm. Definitely going to be expecting her to be coming over to the house a lot, you guys. It's a fun, fun thing to think about as I come here into P-Town, Provo, baby, to get these stitches out. Okay, thank you. back in the car now. That was incredible. I'll quickly bring up to speed on what happened in there, and then I wanna go home and show you these bad boys because I did not even remember that I was gonna get these back. Blows my mind what they look like. I'm gonna go home, get them out of the bag, I'm gonna show Mindy and show you guys, but the appointment went great. Healing looks great. They didn't do an x-ray or anything like that. I just took the stitches out, stitches came out clean. Another like week or so before I can fully submerge it and be underwater for any extended period of time because it can't open it back up. So I'm not quite ready or able to get back into the water. So no hot tub and pooling, boating, anything like that. Physical activity, as long as I don't run too big of a risk, of popping them back open. I can get back on the one wheel with the kids and go around the neighborhood and do some other fun things like that. Healing process coming along nicely. Coolest thing of all though is getting the screws that were in my leg and a little baggy handed to me. You guys, they look like something you would find at Home Depot. I did not expect that that is what was in my leg. So I gotta find something cool to do with these. I'm thinking like some kind of like a little glass box, set it on the desk, just a fun reminder of a not so fun time. Very stoked to be able to take these home with me. I'm gonna go home and show mom. I think she's gonna be very surprised at what they look like. Just got back home and I got quite the audience here to show them what was in my leg. So this is what was in my leg, holding my ankle together. You guys want to see it? Are you ready? Those are big! Holy, oh, they're actual screws. So is that not gnarly, dude? That is an actual, regular, like, Home Depot looking screw. That was in your leg? That was in my leg, in my ankle, right there, two of them. And I've got two more still in there, and a metal rod. That thick. That's what I thought. They're so much longer than I thought they would be, because I didn't think my leg... have really skinny legs. But I know! <laughs> I actually agree, though. Like, where would that go from end to end? Through I the know. Bone? That's insane. They are incredibly They had to do big. like a special cleaning yeah, process. So they've been fully, we can take them out and do anything we want because they've been completely Ugh. sanitized. Yeah. Specimen bag? I'm not touching those. Well, you those. know what's crazy? That's been in my bone, in my leg. For that four came from years. For four years. So, and you can kind of tell. Here, take them out real quick. You can tell. See how Ugh. that's kind of blue on this one? He said that they like started out kind of blue, but then they just fade over time inside of my leg. They both were like this bluish. He thinks, although this one's a very different. That was four years ago. How does he green. remember? Here's the thing. They're very dull. So, listen to this, sweetie. I, I'm so excited to tell you all this. They are self-tapping. So this is like a self-tapping screw, but they're self-tapping like bone screws so that you could go right up to the bone and just drill them right in, even if you didn't pre-drill. He said he always pre-drills. And I'm like, I can't believe we're talking about my leg right now. Oh we're talking about gosh. my bone. No wonder you have to be put out. So he's got my leg open, pre-drilling holes. I also, in my mind, for some reason, imagine them just being thinner, like this very minimal I impact. Know. This is a full-blown. Oh, these touchdown. are big. Those are big boys, Brandon. This is a full-blown actual like metal screw that he pre-drills a hole, puts some kind of a drill Drill bit in the end of that thing, self tapping so that it can just grab without having threads as it goes in, and then they drill this through my bone, and that's been in there for four years. Two of them. I still got two more and a long metal rod. Mindy's not entertaining. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Very cool that I got these today. I wasn't remembering or expecting to get these, but I've got to do something cool with them. I feel like we should. They've been like 100% sanitized. They wouldn't let me take them home until they've been completely sterilized. Yeah. But I do want to do something with them. Like what? put them in, I don't know, like a little glass case and put them on my desk. Like this memory. I don't know. It's very cool. What a conversation conversation starter. Hey, why do you have to, what if we hung something in the house with the screws? We hang like our silver play button with the gold screw. We could do that. Okay. Well, I want to, what do you guys think? Let me know. What should we do with these screws? These incredible, now here's something else that's kind of cool. He said these are 80 bucks a pop, 80 bucks per screw because of the type of screw that it is. I said you could buy the Home Depot for way less money. Way less money than a surgery for sure. But actually they are pretty pricey screws. They're self-tapping. They're actually metal. How? Like if you were to go into Home Depot, it'd be like 69 cents or something. I don't know what it would be. 80 cents. But yeah, 80 cents. But these are 80 bucks per screw because of the type that can go in your bone and in your body. They are now on the outside, you guys. Quick update for you. I've already told the vlog, but oh. I can't actually swim yet. Can't be fully submerged for like at least another week because they don't want to risk that getting softened and popping back open. I can get out on the one wheel. I can do some fun stuff like that. I can be a little more active as long as I don't risk popping them back open. Oh, another week to get them fully we'll sealed have to go up to the pool without you. They're under band-aids though, so I'll show you guys. I'll take the band-aids off later, show you. It, it doesn't look super great. Looks kind of actually kind of gross, but it's my ankle. I don't really care if it's scars there, whatever. Okay, guys, I came home, quite the setup. I think what we're doing right now, if I'm not mistaken, we are about to shoot a video for Mindy's best right now. We were kind of messing around, kind of joking. I just need some more energy. 
energy back. The video should be titled, How to Make Your Husband Drool. Mindy's not sure she's on the fence with that idea. Try and guess below what I'm making. Based on these ingredients that you see here, what is mom making for Mindy's Best that will be posted this Friday, 2 p.m. Mountain Time. Don't miss Whoa. it. Gotta shut this one down, pick up mom's camera, get filming this delicious video. I'm excited. Tuesday, which means, what does it mean? Well, it means Taco Tuesday, but in true Bingham fashion, we just had dessert first. Does that give you any hints as to what Mindy was making on Mindy's best? Oh my gosh, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably right in your It is Taco huh? Tuesday. Huh? I took some chicken out of the freezer a little bit ago, just letting it sit in a bag to make up some chicken tacos. We actually have a lot of the taco necessities in the fridge and pantry, so dinner coming up soon. Dessert already done. <laughs> While mama's upstairs preparing dinner, you know there's one thing that I've been dying to do ever since having my surgery, but I have not been able to do it until today. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't do that. Mama's in the kitchen cooking up some dinner. How's it going in here? Good, we're doing chicken tacos tonight, but B, how was your ride? Well, it's funny you should ask, Mindy, because it was the greatest thrill of my life. I'm not kidding, it felt so good just to be out there because you know how much I love it in general. Did you like forget how to do it? I actually wasn't very good. Like I felt like I wasn't very aggressive. I was kind of slower, which is okay. It's okay, take it easy, right? Okay, you're 42 now. Oh my gosh, can we not remind people of that? But I did have this thought as I was riding. I got that for Christmas because of an amazing wife. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> It's a one wheel. It's a one wheel. Hooked me up big time for Christmas. And all I wanted is it to be warm weather because I was riding it like in the snow just to ride on it. It's finally warm and I haven't had a chance to get on it. It's so hot. Though. And it's like, but it's so nice. I could ride it for hours at night when the sun sets. You get that perfect summer weather. I have not taken advantage of that it's once on the out. one wheel. So I am very excited to be back on that. The only thing that would really complete the full package, the full return, is a one wheel t-shirt. If only oh I had gosh. a one wheel t-shirt. She also got me one. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, the home cooked meal. I missed you. I know you missed me too. <laughs> Calling the kids in for dinner, and just as quick as we're getting this dinner out on the table, mom is preparing for tomorrow's dinner already, pulling out some pulled pork to thaw, little kielbasa. This is smelling up the whole house, and it smells fantastic. Chicken tacos coming at you. I just need the kids to walk in that door in three, two, one. They literally oh my said gosh, front really door happened. right then. That's incredible. Did you guys hear that? Let's see who it is. Who's the first one in the house? It's Hazel! The sun is setting. It is a gorgeous it's summer night. Weather out here. You know what? My leg's feeling good. Got it on the one wheel. Yeah. Had a delicious chicken taco Tuesday dinner. Hey. It's been a decent day today, you guys. We've missed the kids. They're out playing with friends. They've been making well, slime like crazy on the porch. They've been making slime up here, so I went and cleaned off the entire porch today. There's food coloring. Hosted it all off. There's what? remnants of a great time, Mindy. There yeah. are leftovers of a fantastic summer afternoon. That's what you're finding. The kids are looking forward to selling their slime. Thank you for being a part of our day today. Come back tomorrow. We love you so much. We love having you being a part of our lives, and we will see you tomorrow. See you later.